Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures. In this video, we're going to be playing uh, Chinatown Detective Agency Day 1, which is uh, the prologue for Chinatown Detective Agency, and it looks really, really interesting. Um, I love everything that I saw from this game in the previews and things like that, and the little trailer that I've seen over on the Steam page, so we're going to jump in and play it for around about 15 minutes and see what we think about it, really. So here we go. It's pixel art, of course, as well. Singapore. It's also a cyber noir adventure game, which is uh, an interesting genre. Man looks upon all that he has made. Okay, it's got voice acting. That it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. This is pretty cool so far, I've got to say. I like the voiceover and everything. He knows this, and he is afraid. I like the look of this world as well, it's the really cool. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. Yeah, I'm really digging the vibe of this one so far, I've got to say. Oh, there's a robot pushing someone in a wheelchair. That's pretty cool. So he creates his greatest work of all. A tribute to his likeness. An extension of his being. Yeah, I'm really a loving this backdrop. It's cool. Of its master and the executor of his commands. And this setting's but great as well. But greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, Ooh. vanity, hubris. wonder why it said corruption like that. And what's this following us? Is that some sort of robotic bird? Whoa, God, okay. Wow. And it dreams of a world untainted. By the touch of man. I was not expecting that. <laughs> um, that was quite a turn of events. Uh, one year later. So, is that 2032 then? I think it said 2031 at the beginning. Okay, here we go. Look at this layout. So, we've got like a phone. Uh, this is the main sort of it's screen. Start. Voice acting, cool. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Yilang. Hey, brought you a little gift. I don't drink. Justin. So I wonder if these guys are investigating what happened there with the, the explosion. Well, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. <laughs> Interesting thought that, actually. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. When are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. <laughs> Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you'll do work you regret for a pittance get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. Mm. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. I really enjoyed the story so far. The backstory is pretty cool. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. Right, so she's obviously set up on her own and left the force then? No. My days as a cop are over. I wonder what this is here. She's got some sort of tag around her neck. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, no harm in asking. All right, 
My guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. Might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. How are you one? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Seems like a nice enough dude. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. Ah, here we go. So we've got a message. So this is this is our phone here then. We've got a bank account with $2,000 in it. Uh, unknown sender. A picnic at midnight under the shade of a tree where the, a man became one with the universe. And then obviously we can maybe call out using that. I don't know. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Hmm. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options. Okay. Right, so... Okay, here we go. Welcome to Chinatown Detective Agency. Missions will take you to different places in Singapore and the world. Right now, the mission tasks you find... Uh, sorry, tasks you with finding a Bodhi tree. Click on the map button at the bottom panel to access the MRT map and click on a location to travel there. Okay, so we've got map, we've got the office, the web, settings, um, it shows us our mission. I love, I've got to say, I really like this layout with all these sort of gadgety things. I think that's really, really cool. Very different to anything else I've ever played before. Um, so we've got to go to the map then. Wow, look at this. So we've got Chinatown, the gardens. I mean, I'm guessing we've probably got to go to the botanic gardens. So I guess we go there. That's probably where we'd find the tree, right? Oh, cool. So, I'm guessing this is a loading screen, but it's almost done as a, a transport system. Very nice. Okay, the botanical gardens, first laid out in 1859 during British rule. Countless species of plants and animals have called this home over the years, but I'm here for one in particular, the Bodhi tree by Swan Lake. So it seems like some of it is voice acted and some isn't. The client should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate, though. But also, I do know that obviously this is a prologue and it's a work in progress. So maybe the full game will be completely voice acted. I don't know. Okay, so Swan Lake's there. So I guess this is sort of a tutorial to kick the prologue off then. It's sort of just guiding us to teach us the mechanics. Oh, what's this? Renegade Software. Welcome to Renegade Software Sleep Cell V1.9.21C. Connected to the gate system, please connect matching nodes. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, it's a, it's like a, a memory game. Right, so... Oh, okay, hang on. Right, so I wonder if we've got a certain amount of tries on this. We have. Right, so I probably should have been paying attention a bit better, shouldn't I? Uh, was that that one? No. Was that one though? No. And that one's that one. And no. Okay. Okay. And that one goes to there. So we did it. We uh, just about did it. <laughs> Access granted. It's very cool. I love this sort of cyber noir setting. Though I think that's really really awesome. Uh, right. Here we go. Pixel art's great as well. Love the way the lighting works. I think is brilliant. So far, this is really like working. The solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? And I love these little portraits as well. They're very, very cool. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Nice. But please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. That's not cryptic at all. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. Um, is this the type of person we really want to be teaming up with? I, I don't know. I'm not sure about this group. They're very secretive from, from what we've heard so far. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat <laughs> that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Yeah, no dirty work. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. I, I I'm not sure I trust you, in all honesty. Having said that, 
Were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, no, I won't stop you. Right. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. Oh, good. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone. And of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. Right. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are. Most of the time. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. I usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. Does it? <laughs> not for me. and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Thank you. I guess maybe we're going to use the map again. Okay, your mission log at the bottom right corner logs all your leads and other relevant information to the case. We also got some news here. New contact added uh, and a new location unlocked. Right now, you may want to go to the last known location of Philip Ung. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, so we've got the Civic District now. So I'm guessing that seeing as we've just unlocked that, that's where we want to head to. So let's go. Again, I really like this. This is cool. The way it's like a, almost like a tube train. Really clever way of doing a loading screen in my opinion. Wow, check this out. This looks great. National Library. I've got to say, I am fully immersed in this already. I'm, I'm there. Like, just straight thrust into it. And... Yeah, it's, it's really immersive. I, I love it. The National Library. It's a miracle it's still up and running, considering how underfunded the government is. I'll need to run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should be headed for. Okay, so it seems like maybe the voice acted parts of the conversations between people and just sort of the, the narrative of our character here isn't voice acted, which, you know, I'm fine with that, actually. I think that's pretty cool. Um, right, so we need to use the database then. This, I'm guessing, is the database. One of the key mechanisms of Chinatown Detective Agency is that it requires the player to figure things out on their own. Okay. That means going online and doing a search for information that could help you crack a clue. In this case, you should run a search on the quote Robert told you about, then type the author name or the name of the book the quote came from in the National Library's automated receptionist con... Oh, so we've got to do, like, real-life stuff as well? Is that what it's saying? I mean, that that's pretty cool if if it, if it does work that way. I, I don't know if this web thing is... Um, that's pretty cool. So if you press this web button, it actually opens up your web browser, which <laughs> is actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to use my, my phone, I guess, to do this. Um, where was the, the quote... Let's, uh, so, so we're actually going to have to do real life research in this game. That is something I wasn't expecting and something that honestly, I, I, I don't know, not something I've had to do in a game before to be quite honest with you, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Right, so let's just type this in. Uh, let's, I'm not going to type all of it in. I guess I'll type in some of it. Let's, uh, let's type in... Sorry, you guys can't see me doing this. I'm aware of that. <laughs> let's see what comes up if I type in some of it. Right, okay, so... We've got a name. Let's submit that. Please proceed to the Central Public Library Basement 1. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so... Uh, how do we go there? Is there a... Aha, an elevator, maybe. Basement 1, there we go. Right, the question is, what do we do here in Basement 1? Wow, look at that! A new phase! You here for the free Wi-Fi? I'm looking for a book. Ha! <laughs> sure you are. Oh, 
You're uh, you're serious. Yep. Sorry. It's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days, or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? Uh. I'm looking for the histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. I mean, that's pretty cool that we had to look that up ourselves in real life to use it in game. I'm actually a really big fan of that mechanic. I think that's really, really different, but I like it. Here we go, the histories, Herodotus. Twicken Impress, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. <laughs> nice. Hmm, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Okay. On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Okay. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter <laughs> underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh... Who? Yep. Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Um, technically yes, but you'll have to file a J2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an E application to the security department and- Oh my god. No, I haven't got time for that. Hang on. What's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlined parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Yep, definitely. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. Yeah, I mean, we've got like, well, we've lost some dollars. Maybe traveling costs dollars? And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. Yeah, that too. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now. The librarians. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what. 300? And you got your 300? Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade. And times like these, you gotta look out for numbers. Being one, shaken you know? down here, guys. Oh. Um. 300 it is, I guess. Wow. Okay. $300, just like that. Hey! It says here, the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Nice, we got a name. Address? Well... Now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Yeah, we're not giving you more money. Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Bidok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? No. Yeah, you could say that. No, it doesn't. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. You do that. Thank you very much. You've been, you've been very helpful. And it only cost us $300 for the trouble. Uh, but, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there because I'd like you guys to go and play this for yourself and uh, see how the mysteries unfold in this prologue. I've got to say, I really, really enjoy this. And if the full game is going to be anything like this, then it's definitely one I'm going to be playing because uh, this is pretty awesome. Um, I'm really hooked on it. The story's great. The mystery solving thing is something that I always love doing. Um, and it's done really well. The pixel art is gorgeous. I love this mechanic we've got here with the phone and using the real life web to find answers to relate to in the game. I think it's really cool as a concept. I can't wait to see more of this when, when more information gets released. I believe the full game is probably due out in the summer or autumn this year as well. So hopefully not too far away before we get to play the, the whole game. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point-and-click community that we're putting together here. 
and I will see you all next time.